Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today, I want to admonish you to learn in knowledge. I'll be reading to you from the book of Philippians and chapter 1 from verse 8 to 11. For God is my record, how greatly I launch after you all in the bowel of Christ Jesus. And this I pray, this is a person's prayer, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, that you may approve things that are excellent, that you may be sincere without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Christ. Christ Jesus unto the glory and praise of God. The subject of love is a much discussed subject in our day. Singers sing about it, poets write about it, politicians preach it, and all kind of things are said about it. But as believers in Christ Jesus, we need to have the scriptural perspective of love so that you don't walk on either side of the road, either the, the one that is against love or the one that misconstrues love. You see, the ultimate in redemption and in our Christian world is love. And this love we're talking about encompasses but it's far much more and greater than a marital love and fraternal love. It encompasses all of those fraternal love, brotherly love and, and marital love and all kinds of it. But it's far more than that. It's the love of God which is shared in us. Bible, according to Romans chapter 5 of verse says the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. So it's the God kind of love that is shared like water shed in our heart. And that is the kind of love that saved us. This includes and yet it goes beyond feelings. You know, in the world context, love is about feeling. The God kind of love that we're talking about includes feelings, but it's also more than our feelings. It is knowledge based that your love may abound yet more and more, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge. Knowledge. That is to say, your knowledge of human value in the height of God. You, you see, for you to really work in God kind of love, you need to have the right perspective of the value of human before God. I mean, this, this, this this will free you from many prejudices and hatred that you are harboring in your heart against people because they don't look like you, because they don't talk like you, because they don't um, see things the way you see it. It, it. When you have an understanding by knowledge of the value of human in the sight of God, you know, it will help you in loving them. It will give you perfect understanding of how God sees man beyond race, beyond gender, beyond tribe, beyond political affiliation. You understand? The love of God. That he may abandon you in knowledge, knowledge of redemption price, and knowledge of redemption package, and knowledge of ultimate redemption plan. Because redemption was because of man, not because of dogs and cats, and not because of any other thing, but because of man. And so, knowledge of redemption price, the redemption package, and the redemption plan will help you to work in love more and more because your love will be abounding more in knowledge. It is um, the kind of love we're talking about is a judgment based love. When we say judgment, we're not talking of um, judging people and of course sending them to hell. Not at all. We're talking about sound judgment or insight into discernment. Ability to separate light from darkness. Love doesn't blind your eye from separating light from darkness. In fact, true love helps you to separate light from darkness. True love helps you to separate truth from falsehood. Truth, true love helps you to separate good and evil because he said that that's why he's praying that your love will not, you won't mess it up. You won't mess it up. You won't just um, take everything for love. You, you know, you know, generation, you know, we, we might think that if we don't put a difference between light and darkness, between good and evil, between um, um, right and wrong, that is why we are when we are walking in love. No, that's not it at all. It said that your love will abound more and more in knowledge and in judgment, in, in discernment, in ability to separate good from evil, light from, from darkness, righteousness from unrighteousness. You will be able to approve things that are excellent. That is to say you will have the right value and give things their right priority. You will retain the sincere, so that you may be sincere on the day of coming to the Lord. You will retain the sincerity that came with the circumcision of your heart at salvation. You know, when you got born again, you were circumcised. Your heart was circumcised and you were given sincerity of Christ like a lamb that was slain. You know, you were given that sincerity of heart and that is why when you got born again, you know, you know, when people get born again at times, in the beginning, they, they can't, they can't lie again, they can't steal.
still again. They can't just things that are not their own, they can't. But now they are pastors. Now they are ministers. Now they are deacons. Now they are anointed. Now they can lie. They can exaggerate. They can steal. But when you understand how to walk in love through knowledge, sound judgment, and sincerity, you will not lose the tenderness, the circumcision of your heart. You know, you know, some people, after they've been born again, they were so nice and kind to people. But after people have treated them wrongly, they now become mean and become very wicked. And, and even though they are still born again, but they are mean and they are wicked and they, they don't they don't treat people right again. But God doesn't want you to live that way. God wants you to retain the sincerity, the innocence, the circumcision of your heart. You see, the Bible says when this happens, you will not stumble into offense till the day of Christ. Because, listen to me friends, offense will come your way in diverse ways. But when you understand how to work in love through knowledge and sound judgment and sincerity, you will be void of offense till the end. And you you will be fruitful in righteousness. What that means is that you'll be fruitful in the right way, in the right measure, and in the right places of life. It is my prayer for you today that you will walk in love, and you will be fruitful, and you will walk in knowledge and in discernment, in judgment. You will not be trapped. You will not be trapped by offense. You will not be trapped by evil men. Darkness will not trap you. Sin will not trap you. Unrighteousness will not trap you. You will separate between that which is good and that which is evil, and you will walk in the right path. And God of peace will bruise Satan under your feet quickly in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that that part of your life where you have lost your innocence, that God's spirit will walk back into your heart in circumcision and, and give you the innocence back. Somebody is hearing me and is crying. I want I want the tenderness of my heart to return. I've been undone by many things and my heart is now hardened. I pray that God knife of the spirit will recircumcise your heart. We cause it to bleed away wickedness, bleed away apathy, bleed away unbelief, bleed away on faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Inka King today and I pastor that in church. I see you next time. God bless you.